fittings until restored for the museum and she has a Birmingham health registration number on there just to prove that she was used for living each boat had to be approved rather like official them today I mean perhaps not quite so uh, dogmatic you might say this, uh, these boats were we were registered, as I said earlier, to sleep, uh, usually a, a man, a woman and two children. Well, uh, of course with a motor and a butty, you had a bit of cabin at the back of the butty, so you could have a few more in the family if you were lucky, if you weren't there to sleep under the sheets. Of course, um, remember, of course, the sanitary uh, provisions were excellent. It was uh, referred to as bucket and chuck it. You kept the bucket in the engine room and you had an engine room door where you could chuck it. Anyway, here we see Sculptor, now connected by the look of it to the sickle. You will note, of course, that the steerer and crew on Sickle are not required to wear their life jackets because that boat does not belong to Canal and River Trust. Canal and River Trust have taken great care of their corporate responsibility for health and safety. And when the occasional CRT chap does fall in, he only comes out wet and he has to get his life jacket checked again usually because it's inflated. Anyway, here we see Sculptor being towed by Sickle. We don't actually have a Sagitta here at this current minute hanging on the back, but you can imagine this boat, these caravans working their way up and down the anything. They gently flow into a lock without doing any damage to either boat or lock gates. 